When you're ready to start adding walls, you can select the Insert Wall function from the Modeling tab, or right-click and select Insert Wall from the pop-up menu. This opens the Wall dialog. Here you can choose from a number of different libraries in the top left, a wall type from within the library, and then you can modify the layers that make up the selected wall. In this case, I have a 2x4 exterior bearing wall selected from my exterior wall library. And here we can see there's four different layers that make up this wall. I have exterior siding, exterior sheathing, the main framing layer, and interior drywall. The height of the wall is coming from our 3D levels that we had set earlier. This wall type also adjusts the exterior sheathing to hold the bottom up 3 quarters of an inch and the top down 3 eighths of an inch. The siding is also being held down 4 inches and that's coming from the thickness of the floor system for the active level that we're on. Since I have a 4 inch slab selected, it's extending the siding down the 4 inches to cover that slab. You can adjust the height values by changing the numbers in any of these height fields. We can also change the materials that are selected for each layer. I'm just going to widen this column out so we can see what we have there better. And then when I select the drop list, I can see a number of different selections I have for exterior siding. This type selection acts as a filter for what kind of materials you're going to see in that material drop list. So since I have siding selected, it's only showing me the siding material types that I have available in my wall layers library. If I change this to one of the brick selections, you'll see the thickness will update as well as the preview pictures. I can also add additional layers. If I wanted to add a double layer of sheathing, I can select the sheathing layer, then right click and select either insert outside, which will add it to the exterior side of the selected layer, or insert inside to add the new layer to the interior side of the selected layer. So now I have two layers of the same sheathing, and if I wanted to change one of them to something else, I can just hit the drop list and find the material that I want to add. So I'll select a one inch foam board. Since the material I selected had framing properties associated with it, it's asking me if I want to load those framing properties from the library as well. I'll select yes. We can also split a layer so that the top half and bottom half are different materials. For example, if I wanted to make a wainscoting for the brick and have stucco on top, I can select the siding layer and select split. So now I have a layer going from minus 4 inches to 52.5625. We can change that. Let's say this is going to go up to 36 inches. And then the layer on top will go from 36, which updated automatically, up to the top of the wall. And now I'm going to change that material and choose the stucco. You can access the framing properties by selecting a layer, right click, and select framing tools. Different wall types will have different framing tools, the forms will look different, and we'll cover this more in the framing tutorials. The same is true for sheathing. In our default environment, we have framing tools assigned to exterior sheathing but not to the interior or siding, but they can be added as well. If you want to revert the changes that we just made, you can right click on the selected wall and select Restore Defaults. The changes we make here while we're in the Insert Wall function will only be applied to the walls that are added to this particular project. There's more information on our documentation site about how to add walls into the wall library so that they're available for all future projects. There's also more information about the wall dialog in the Vertex Help. 
you can select the help button up in the top right corner of your vertex window and go to user manual or just press F1 on your keyboard. In vertex help go to architectural design, walls, add a wall, and click on the wall dialog box.